Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshop. And today I am bringing you Faux by E. Davies. This is book number three in the F Word series. Before you go a little crazy there. <sighs> Confession time. This is the first book of E. Davies that I have ever read. I am though going to go back and devour so many more because I truly enjoyed his writing style, the fluffiness, the lightness, the low angst, kind of like a breath of fresh air. Plus, look at the cover. Aren't they cute? Come on, tell me they're not cute. You're lying. That's right, they are cute. We have Sam, who is a 20 year old. He has had to grow up a lot faster than expected because at 18, his mother died. She owned a diner and he has a little brother at home that he's now kind of trying to raise. Little brother is 16 and we all remember our teenage years and how much of a delight we were to have around. So Sam is trying to manage being just a 20 year old, owning a diner, running the diner, managerial things, and what the hell is going on with my brother Ethan? We have Denver, a 31 year old man, runs a charity, has kind of his life in order, and he's HIV positive. So they both kind of have, according to the world and social stigmas, things going against them. Well, Denver's friend says, you know what? Every time you find yourself doing something that's routine, change it and do something else. Let's get you out of this rut. And he's like, okay, whatever. But he does it. He goes to the diner and orders something different, which throws Sam off. He's used to normal and routine when it comes to his regular customers. And so this kind of starts this domino effect of changing up the routine, them starting to talk, them starting to like each other and becoming friends. And Sam has this great realization that the reason he's never really hit it off with a date, the reason he doesn't have sexual fantasies about movie stars is that he's demisexual. He has to have that connection with somebody first before he can move forward. He's also bisexual. So that makes me and Sam like this. I think what I'm going to like about going into um, Ed's stories is that he does a lot of self-identifying explanations. In this book, we have a non-binary character, a demisexual character, bisexual character, and you know, all of this within the main two. And even with some of the side characters in this story, which are probably like main characters in other stories, which I'm going to have to like delve in and go because I was so in love with this. You know, we get to meet a gender fluid character. Ed does this wonderful job of saying, here's what this is, here's how I'm going to explain it to you. So you're not looking up on Wikipedia, you're not being all sorts of confused. Here's what non-binary means. Here's what demisexual means. And so we're getting just not only this little bit of education and sexual identities, but a fun, fluffy, romantic, low angst story. And of course, with a beautiful, happily ever after. I found Faux to be a quick read. I had a lot of fun with it. I fell in love immediately. Being the mother of a teenager, I got where Sam was coming from. Seeing Denver reach out to a homeless teenager made my heart melt because that is something that is a phenomenal thing for somebody to do. Faux by E. Davies, I'm giving five stars because I just, I just loved the feeling that came off of this. The aura of the book was just beautiful and fun, carefree in a way, but at the same time, you're bogged down and you have to learn time management and what's most important to you in life. Are you able to let go of your compulsions in order to let this person in? So much is going on in this story. It's not just all fluff and rainbows and cake, but it's not like put the dagger in and twist it and just rip your heart out angst. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to leave the Amazon link down below so you can one click it and be on your way. If you've enjoyed this review, I'm gonna ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I try to get stuff out every Monday through Thursday but I never know what time and that's kind of the magic of the subscribe button is that you will get a notification when I have a new review for you. If you like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, down below I'm going to leave my Facebook page and my Twitter. If you have a book or an art you'd like me to read, you can request via website. Faux by E. Davies. Five stars. Bye. 
Hi, my name is Christina. I'm your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. I'm battling a little sinus infection, so um, enjoy the nasalness. Kind of consider an extra bonus for you. Today I am bringing you Impossible Boy by Anna Martin, published by Dream Spinner Press. This book is already out, so if you enjoy my review, you can just kind of skedaddle on over to Dream Spinner and buy the book from them because Impossible Boy is amazing. We have Ben, who's kind of a jack-of-all-trades while he's uh, in a band and they're trying to get it up 